Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Dozens of people from around the world heard Amelia Earhart and her navigator Fried Noonan radio for help after crashing into the Pacific Ocean and becoming stranded on a remote island, according to researchers. The International Group for Historic Aircraft Recovery, TIRE, theorizes that Earhart and Noonan were able to employ their two-way radio in the downed Lockheed Electra to send pleas for help in their final days marooned on the then-deserted Gardner Island, also known as Nakumaroro, the Washington Post reported. We'll have to get out of here, Earhart could be heard saying at one point, according to the paper citing tires. Research. We can't stay here long. A woman in Toronto heard the pilot say, we have taken in water we can't hold on much longer. Earhart and Noonan could only use the radio for a few hours each night when the tide was low in order to not flood the engine as the plane rested out on the island's reef, the Post reported. Authorities asked the public's help to listen to the radio frequencies Earhart had been using on her trip following her disappearance on July 2, 1937 during a flight from Papua New Guinea to Howland Island as she attempted to become the first woman to travel around the world, according to Tyre. While most searchers heard nothing, some listeners scattered across North America heard Earnhardt's cries for help, the Post reported, citing research from Tyre. The day after the crash, a Kentucky woman claimed she heard the pilot say cack calling, before saying she was on or near Little Island at a point near and something about a storm and that the wind was blowing, according to the Post. The age-old mystery continues to baffle the scientific community, while some are convinced that Gardner Island is Earhart's final resting place, another theory suggests that she met her end on Neely Atoll in the Marshall Islands. As for the castaway theory, some 13 human bones were found on Gardner Island three years after Earhart's disappearance. The bones, however, were subsequently lost. Rick Gillespie, the director of Tyre, told the Post that the messages were sent out over a course of six days, and is evidence that Earhart and Noonan died as castaways, rather than the US Navy's claim that they died after the plane crashed and sunk somewhere in the Pacific. 